gonna go natural. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Trying to go natural, yeah. Okay, so I'm coming on to do a review for you guys. Starting from the shower, first impression for both of us, for most of this. I'm reviewing the Anasi Naturals line. You guys know I tried the leave-in and the co-wash. I love the leave-in. The co-wash was great, but not that cleansing, not cleansing enough for me, but super moisturizing. So I figure if I try more in the line, I'm bound to find something I love. So this is me coming in with the shampoo, deep conditioner, back to the leave-in and trying the custard. All right, here live-ish today. <laughs> so I'm starting with the Soothing Mint Gentle Cleansing Shampoo. Um, hope you can see labeling is a bit faint on this. So I'm hoping it's gonna be at least gentle. It doesn't say moisturizing, but it has aloe vera juice and stuff, so I'm hoping. But anyway, I need a good cleanse. My scalp needs it, so I don't think it can go too wrong unless it's stripping. So let's hope it's not stripping. Let's stop talking. Let's start washing. Brand new for you. <laughs> smells nice. Smells like dinner mints. I don't know if you're not trendy, I don't know, but it smells like edible mints. <laughs> I love this shampoo. <laughs> so far, it's setting readily. I don't know if you can see. And it's feeling great on the scalp. Those bubbles. <laughs> I see bubbles coming up too. That's cute. Ah, uh, yes. Alright, I'm gonna put some in the back. Sorry, don't tend to leave shampoo on probably five minutes just because I have a lot of hair and so it does take me a while so I can't really use the super stripping shampoo because it's going to be in here a while. The slip is decent too. The tingle is definitely present but gentle and not overpowering so I love that as well. It may even be a little on the mild side but <laughs> those of you who don't like a strong tingle you'll be happy. Yo, my hair feels so soft. This is the softest my hair has ever felt on the single shampoo. So, <laughs> I just usually keep going until I hear, until I don't hear the sound of water hitting sun. Okay, definitely on HD status already. My hair is so soft. <laughs> and my curls are like popping too, like it's not stripping at all. I think you can see that. So, yeah. I can get my fingers through after rinsing, which I kind of save a lot of shampoos and all. So, yeah. So, I was looking for another HG from this brand, and like the first other thing I tried was the HG. Loving it. <laughs> yes. Win, win, win. My hair smells great. Nice and minty, super soft. The slip is there, it's moisturized. We are winning. <laughs> okay, let me add the deep conditioner now. So next we have the deep conditioner, this Mango Hemp Restorative Hair Mask. So I'm about to be traveling, so I'm very happy for any little restoration or protein and stuff. Because I haven't done a protein treatment in forever and traveling, not being able to take care of my hair properly for two months. I need a little protein before I go. So this also has the hyaluronic acid I mentioned the leave-in has, so I'm expecting great things. Brand new for you. I like that everything is sealed too, so you know that you're the first one in here. So it seems pretty thick. Let's see how it feels on the hair. Like it's not super duper thick, but it's definitely thick. Kind of soft, kind of thick. Mm -hmm. Seems like it will spread well already. Spreading nice. So I don't know what this smells like. Has a mild sweet scent, not minty, <laughs> not super fruity. Is it mango? I think it is mango. Yeah. So I think it has a slight mango scent. Yes, yes, I hit a Julie there. <laughs> when I when I kind of pinpointed it, it was easier to smell. So definitely a mango scent, which I love. Nice ripe mangoes. So as you can see, I'm hitting it pretty heavy. I decided to get a lot everywhere and then start distributing, which I admit can sometimes lead to me having too much in my hair, but we'll see. Maybe two thirds, I wouldn't go as far as three quarter. So, so far the slip is nice, not like crazy she said the type slip, but definitely enough slip to get it through your hair. It's like kind of like that natural slip, not like extra slip. Like it's kind of like it has organic slip in the ingredients, but in terms of anything extra added for slip, any, I don't know, slippery elm or something. I do see it has like silk amino acids, which is good for slip, but 
this lip is just good which I know good it shouldn't be just but when you use things with super slip like good is a little less than super but you as you can see I'm talking to you and I'm getting it through no problem so it's definitely good slip so in terms of protein it's definitely mild so if you are scared if you're one that's scared of protein I wouldn't worry about it in terms of moisture it's definitely there but it's like it's not quite the instant penetrator but it feels like it's almost in there so I know when I let it sit it's gonna feel amazing so in terms of moisture we're good like I said very few deep conditioners penetrate my hair instantly because I'm like so low porosity and wiry so I can feel that when I let it sit just a little bit it's gonna be you know that wet heavy juicy moisturized feeling it does feel slightly more buttery I guess than the like super light penetrating deep conditioners that work instantly for me so this is it before I let it sit and I'm about to go let it sit for like 30 minutes I guess and come back I am back. I think it's about an hour later. My hair does feel moisturized. Definitely has that it's soaked in feeling. So I do think this is a good deep conditioner. I like the scent of it too. I like how soft my hair feels. <laughs> That's why I'm like still like in it. But yeah, my hair feels soft. It feels moisturized. It feels good to go. So definitely like this is definitely a great deep conditioner. I'm gonna get to the styling now. You can see my curls popping a bit. I think the protein did a good job. Okay, <laughs> I love new products, don't you guys love new products? Mm. Yeah. We're in business, okay. So I'm just gonna section my hair like I usually do and then rinse my conditioner, section my section like I usually do, so one second. So this is the back section after rinsing. I don't usually show you guys the back, it was kind of weird to show you and talk to you, talk to you and show you. <laughs> But anyway, <laughs> this is the back section after rinsing the deep conditioner. Feels moisturized. I think the word for today is soft because my hair just feels softer than ever, basically. So yeah, gonna add the leave-in now. <laughs> the nasty aloe hibiscus leave-in. This is actually my second bottle. Love it. Can't wait to use it again. So this leave-in is just so moisturizing, but more slip than the deep conditioner. So it's just kind of everything nice texture and everything so yeah I didn't even put that much but for me anyway <laughs> and it's like it's feeling really good considering how much I put so I do think with the leave-in a little goes a long way the deep conditioner is kind of standard for me like with those small jars of deep conditioner I can use anything from half jar to the whole jar and I use like two-thirds so the conditioner is pretty standard but the leave-in for me I feel like a little goes along so my hair is moisturized and soft and I feel like the leave-in does a good job with definition both my textures because I have like two textures and both are defined moisturized and soft so now let's see what this custard is about you have the coconut avocado curly defining custard and I'm like please give me something like kinky curly or something you know something good so it does have the methyl cellulose as the second ingredient so it's not like all natural I'm just hoping for the best okay see what we got here under this I just like the way it looks it looks like it's gonna be good <laughs> but you know looks can be deceiving I don't know if I said that I'm traveling tomorrow so I don't want to have struggle here I want hair that will get me through two weeks easy it actually looks, forgot what the word is, like a colloid, <laughs> forgot my chemistry, but it doesn't look completely smooth, I can kind of see like a little bit of dots in there, I guess. Definitely going on smooth and slippy, but it's kind of almost like a cream in a sense, like it's not, you know how gel feels different from a cream? This kind of feels more creamy than jelly, panicking a little bit. <laughs> It's definitely going on easy, like it's not doing that dry out thing, which is promising. But at the same time, I don't feel like it's doing that debulking either, which is giving me like a big hair warning. <laughs> I'm getting big hair warning from this, which would be fine normally, but I really want my hair to last two weeks right now. So, <sighs> I don't know. 
That's the risk of trying new things when you don't really have the time to try new things. I just really wanted to try this for you guys. <laughs> I think if it's really going to be a bust, I'm going to put some like extreme wet line or something on top of it because I really can't struggle today. So it doesn't look bad. It looks like it would be good if I had the time to have a short wash week, but I don't. I need this to last two weeks. Shampoo was great, deep conditioner was good, and this isn't bad. It looks like it's moisturizing and stuff. It just doesn't fit my needs right now. I need my travel here to be laid so that it can last a while. <laughs> So this is what we have so far. It's already big, so you know. It's not bad, but it's definitely gonna be big and I just can't do big right now. So I'm gonna go get me some extreme wet line. Like I, this is the first time I'm actually doing this, like topping a gel I'm reviewing, but I'm traveling tomorrow. Need this to last two weeks, so I'll be right back. <laughs> so excuse the condition of this because I don't use it often. But this is my extreme wet line and I'm gonna just top it, like put this on top of the custard. Just because, like I said, I need it to last two weeks. All right, <laughs> so this is what we're talking about in terms of laid. <laughs> so you can see how that just flattened out. So I added a touch of extreme wet line and it's a little bit more laid now. So I'm feeling more confident in its ability to last which is what I need. <laughs> so I'm gonna just finish up this hair and come back. You already know I love the leave-in. The custom is moisturizing and defining, but not super duper defining or laying um, for the kinkier folks, I guess, so. Okay. So this is pretty much it. It does seem pretty defined, like I said. Just a tad big and just a tad of frizz. Um, so I am going to add the extreme wet line to top it just because I want it to last two weeks. And this one could give me a week, but I don't think it'll give me two. So, yeah. Leave in and custard. Leave in custard and wet line, I guess, is this side with the clip. So, can you see a difference? Yes. Leave in custard, black line, leave in custard. Alright, <laughs> so I'm gonna add the wet line on this side and I'll be done. And I guess if I have time to film tomorrow, I will. If not, I guess I'll film it from Trinidad on my phone and mix the two together and hope for the best. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> does look pretty good, I will say. Just a little bit of frizz and I just don't quite think it'll give me two weeks, but I probably would get a good week out of this. So, and I'll see you guys if you're watching, send me another custom and I'll do another demo, but this time I really have to top it. <laughs> okay, so this is it, my result, my wet result. And I'll see you on the other side, I guess. <laughs> Bye. I'm back. This is my result, or it's like day five, but it held up really well. It's soft, it's moisturized. I think, <laughs> I think everything is soft and moisturized right now. I haven't even had to use lotion like since I got here. Like the temperature and the humidity is just perfect for me. But I guess maybe because I'm from here. But um, I am enjoying my result, let's put it that way. Um, yeah, and I did overall enjoy using these products. So I definitely do recommend the Nasties. It's a good line. I feel like it's kind of underrated actually, given that the ingredients are natural and the results are good. So pretty much everything I said while I was putting it on remains true. The shampoo was HG, it was just everything. The moisture, the scent, the slip, it spread, the bubbles, it cleansed, you know. It moisturized the tangle. My hair was like the softest ever from my shampoo. So definitely that's there on my HG list now. So that was kind of my whole point of trying an Asti just to have one more thing on the HG list because I was like, if I like the leave-in that much, I must like something else. So the shampoo was it for me. 
So the shampoo and the leave-in are both HGs now. The deep conditioner was nice. It definitely had my hair moisturized and juicy. Um, not quite HG for me just because it wasn't an instant penetrator, which I like. Um, but you know, I do like the mango scent. I like the mint scent, mint foodie mint scent of the shampoo and the mango scent of the deep conditioner. Um, the slip was fine. It wasn't as good as she sent it per se, but it was good. Um, and the moisture was def definitely good. So I do still, um, especially if you like slightly creamier deep conditioners, definitely take a look at that. Definitely take a look at the Nasi. Leave-in, like I said, is my HG and I did a whole video on that. So given the <laughs> fly-by-night, given the kind of crazy setup I have going here, I won't talk much about the leave-in except to say I love it and it's an HG. And as for the custom, it's kind of here under the extreme wet line. Like I didn't use a lot of extreme wet line, but I used some. So it's kind of hard to really evaluate, but I would say my hair feels soft and it did give me definition and hold. I just wasn't sure how much it would give me so i do want to try to use the gel again like just to leave in on the gel and come back and let you guys know and i see if you guys are watching and you want to send me a gel i'll be trying it even sooner but yeah i do want to come back and do the leave in and gel and let you guys know what the result is the gel is going to give you like a soft moisturized medium hold i would say so if that's what you're looking for then definitely give it a try as well yeah so that's it kind of short and sweet given the situation um i will give you a little panoramic of where i'm at to kind of show you the scenery i guess um yeah but thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one live from trinidad and tobago <laughs> bye okay so i love my little <laughs> view my little mountains and my little savannah so I've lived here since I was like five, I guess, maybe four or five years old, which was a long time ago. So I pretty much grew up looking at this view. Um, yeah, and um, I don't know, I'll probably show you guys some more little pictures and so on on YouTube. And I guess if you follow me on Instagram, you'll be able to see, be able to see some stories and so on on the video. But yeah, people getting a little carnival shape up on. <laughs> yeah, all right, <laughs> bye.